Все, короче, это, снимай. Это заебись, если бы ты тебе не полетел, то эти люди будут Эвакуация не подлежит, нихуя. Вот эта буханочка немножко подустала, ебать. С турмовиками она мне подойдет, вообще. Номера не видно нихуя, да? 5581. The head of Russia's foreign intelligence agency, Sergei Narishkin, has claimed that the Crimean Bridge remains a high priority for Ukraine in its attacks on the peninsula using Western weapons. Speaking at a meeting of the heads of CIS security agencies in Astana, Kazakhstan, Narishin noted that the bridge which connects the peninsula to the Russian mainland and has repeatedly come under Ukrainian attack is likely to be targeted by British-supplied Storm Shadow missiles. He also pointed out that Ukraine has been using other Western-supplied weapon systems to attack the peninsula, such as when Kiev's troops used American-made ATACMS missiles in June, killing four people, including two children, and injuring over 150 at a beach in Sevastopol. Narishkin went on to recall that CIA director William Burns had previously told the U.S. Senate Intelligence Committee that Washington's military aid to Ukraine is meant to enable Kiev to inflict tangible damage on Russia, which includes penetrating strikes on Crimea. Burns thus voiced the old Anglo-Saxon maxim to cut off Russia's access to the warm sea at all costs. Narishkin said, Earlier this year, Ukraine's Volodymyr Zelensky admitted that Kiev really wants to destroy the bridge as well as other Russian infrastructure. Since the outbreak of the Ukraine conflict in 2022, the bridge has been targeted with missiles and naval drones on numerous occasions, but most of the attacks were repelled. However, in October 2022, a blast caused by an explosive-laden truck managed to inflict extensive damage to the bridge and took the lives of three people. In July 2023, a drone boat attack also damaged the structure. Ukraine has called for an international tribunal to order Russia to dismantle the Kirsch Bridge or the Crimean Bridge, connecting the temporarily occupied peninsula with mainland Russia as part of its efforts to restore free navigation across the Kirsch Strait. The request was made during oral hearings at the Arbitration Tribunal in The Hague. Occupied Crimea functions as Russia's military base, acting as a springboard for Russians' offensive into Ukraine's southern mainland, consolidating Russian forces and enhancing operational capabilities. Between 2017 and 2020, Russia constructed the Kirsch Road and railway bridges linking its Taman Peninsula to occupied Crimea to secure a vital logistics route to the occupied territory. Oksana Zolotaryova, deputy agent of Ukraine, emphasized in her final speech that dismantling the bridge is the only way to restore passage for ships from all countries that have used the strait in the past and ships that will use the strait in the future. Russia is a signatory to the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Zolotaryova stressed that merely telling Russia it is violating international law is insufficient. She urged the tribunal to order Russia to cease its illegal actions, provide guarantees against future violations, and eliminate the consequences of its unlawful activities. This includes returning and revoking registration of illegally seized Ukrainian drilling rigs in the Black Sea. Representatives of the North Korean army are already in Ukraine. This was stated on air by Ukrainian military observer Denis Popovich on Radio NV. There are already North Korean soldiers in Ukraine. At least there were a couple of days ago, 
there was a report about the liquidation of six North Korean officers. The only question is the number and what function they perform. So far, it has been officially reported that they perform accompanying functions. They are engineers, technical specialists. He added, if we talk about a broader presence, then, according to the expert, in order to have a noticeable impact on military actions, the North Korea should send from 100 to 200,000 of its troops to Ukraine. However, in this case, problems with logistics may arise. The expert is convinced. The more, the greater the burden on logistics, and the logistics shoulder is huge. From the North Korea to Ukraine, 10,000 kilometers, and the Russian Federation and the DPRK are connected by one railroad. It will be necessary to build more railroads, use sea communication. If the contingent is large, then it will require large supplies of ammunition, equipment, evacuation of the wounded, human reinforcements to replenish this contingent. Many logistical problems arise if they are going to transfer a large number of troops, Popovich explained. Recall the army forces of Ukraine eliminated more than 20 Russian military near Donetsk as well as six North Korean officers. According to media reports, they were hit by a missile strike from the armed forces of Ukraine. According to preliminary information, the North Koreans are undergoing training. Russians were sharing experience with them. The North Koreans are present when their shells are delivered to the front. I note that about 1.5 million of their munitions could have been supplied. The North Koreans are adopting the experience of using artillery by Russia in the war with Ukraine. The fact that the North Koreans are taking an active part in the fighting has not yet been confirmed. But the very fact that they could appear in the occupied territory and in the area of warfare already says that there is an active experience sharing. It cannot be ruled out that these groups are present there to study the situation on the ground before the possible dispatch of a larger contingent. It is the largest units closer to the front.